beautiful wet weather for the car boot. Obviously not. No car boots today, as you can see by the weather, guys. But it doesn't mean no video. I'm trying to get them every day. The last couple of days I've missed, haven't I? Well, not a couple of days, but like last week I missed two days. I don't want to be doing that. So basically, I've only had three sales so far over the weekend. Well, I know it's only Sunday, but from Friday and Saturday on eBay, I've only had three sales. So I think my eBay store's dying in a minute. So I'm not happy. Uh, Vinted, we've had seven. Doing all right on Vinted. Some good ones as well. Um, I've recently found that I've sold every single one apart from these two and I haven't listed them. So I'm going to put them in the bag inside so I can list them later on. Then you get through a massive listing spree. But I knew eBay would die as I'm deleting like 150, 150 to 200 items off to do on whatnot. So I can just get rid of it and start building up again. The bigger stock. So we knew this would happen. But still, still a bit shit. But we don't matter. We've made money on whatnot. We've made money on vintage. We're still making our thousands. So let's run through what is sold on Vinted because I want to get the Vinted orders out before Monday. So I don't have to. So I've got all the whatnot ones down there. So I've got the free eBay ones, which are quite big items. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try and get the Vinted ones done today while it's Sunday while I can. Get loads of listings done. And then back to work Monday morning, isn't it? And by work, I mean this is the job. All right, so start off. Our good friend messages across on Instagram. Tried to start out bank transfer, didn't seem to work. So I said, just put it on Vinted, it's easier. I mean, at least it's tracked that way. So on Vinted, you got yourself one Care Bear, which is inside, the pink one. And then this little Yoshi toy that was in a bag full of bundled stuff. Uh, £12.50 for that and the Care Bear, absolutely buzzing. So the first Care Bear is gone for a tenner. Up next, we bought these for three quid for a joke. If you remember, it talked to you a while back. Uh, I wore them and I thought, what the hell did I buy these for? So last night I put them on Vinted, sold for six quid, double the money. Remember, there's no fees on it on Vinted. So when I say sold for six quid, yeah, it's shit. But just remember, eBay is the big fees. eBay is a 20 quid, plus, 20 quid profit, do you know what I mean? Vinted isn't. So don't start going, oh, I said he was gonna do something, whatever this other. This, we remote fiber, got a shit ton of them mouths. We then, oh, why is it doing that? I've clicked on someone, so let me just find where these are. Uh, we bought these for two quid the other day. Someone offered me four. I put them for five, but offered me four, take it. Quick turnover in it. Uh, the Puma shoes we bought for two quid at Toxie on Wednesday. Pretty nice, clean. Bought them for two, sold them for seven. Um, yeah, this is from a video I filmed the other day, but I didn't post it because I didn't have enough footage. So there's no video that day. But I got a delivery from Whatnot. Uh, basically, Whatnot gave me 40 quid because you guys have been referring yourself, whatever. So I had 40 quid to spend on Whatnot. Um, but postage wasn't included. So basically what I did was I paid £2.70 for a hat. I won the hat at three pound, but paid two pound seventy postage. So obviously I didn't pay the three pound; it cost me anything. Postage was two pound seventy, and every item after that was six pence. And obviously I don't pay for the the bid win, if you get what I mean. So if it cost me a tenner to win it. I wouldn't pay that because I had forty pound free balance. If that makes any sense, I know what I mean. But every item pretty much cost me six p. And one of them ones that cost me six p was this Under Armour extra large training gym t-shirt and i think we made some good money on that if I can get this i'm literally just sat on the vintage phone here to see what the prices are i can't forget i can't remember yeah that sold for seven quid so six pence into seven quid and i've still got a lot more to come from whatnot which i'll do when they get delivered i'll do a video on it you know what i picked up uh we've done that we've done that we've done that please try again one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, and then six is him in the care bows, is it? I'll show you the care bow later. So it's a pink gay pride one, so it doesn't matter. And then, if you remember, we picked up these Nike Air thingies. These bad boys. They are genuine. We searched them all up. Nice and clean. Now, I paid a fiver for them. I put them on vintage for 25 quid. Someone offered me 20 quid. You know what I did, didn't you? 
took it straight away. Easy sales. Easy, easy, easy. So let's go get these wrapped, get them sent. It's Sunday, it's raining. There's not really much more we probably can do. I think there's the two charity oh. shops at the bottom that might be open, so we might be able to pop down there at some point. I think it's like 10 they open. And obviously, it's like eight o'clock in the morning, so time we've got these done, we messed about. Get some chazzes. And there's the care bear. Bear in mind, we paid 20 quid for a malt and the first one sold for a tenner. So it's half past nine in the morning. Orders are done, all seven of them. Would you believe as well, every single one of them orders is in post, which is good, but I just don't understand. Some of them wanted labels printed off, some of them wanted to be digital. It's just piss take, but it is what it is. They're done, we've still got to do the whatnot ones. Uh, also, yesterday I picked up two of the mystery boxes from the car boot, so I'll open it in this video. So if you're watching and you're looking forward to a mystery box and opening, that's what it'll be. What else is in the back of there? Loads of shite. Tip is open, is it? Someone is shouting behind me. Someone is shouting behind me. Someone there. There is. Get off your phone. Anyway, we're off to drop these off and see what the day brings. So, in my local town, there's some sort of like marathon running bollocks going on. So, my impost is literally outside my house, down the hill to the big Asda, and it's there. Couldn't get to Big Asda because all the roads are closed. And there's one big road through Scunthorpe called Scotter Road, right? From one end of town all the way to the other. They block the whole thing off because people are running up it. Do you know what I mean? Run on a fucking path. Scum. I hate this stuff. So I had to go to Impost, fucking five mile away when it was two minutes. Off to the charity shops anyway, which is Scotter Road. On my life, it's literally one minute to ten, and then when it just opened. <laughs> I'm on it today, aren't I? Should be at car boot at five o'clock this morning, but here's what it is. Good being good for a dash cam. Yeah, so that's not worth it for anything. Should we get us any fucking... Anything I've found, size medium. I'm gonna take it. I just search this up. It's nowhere near where I thought it was. Oxy. I thought Barbara was a top brand, but she gave me just not anymore. Bag of shit. Fucking no way. How about a bit of a retail arbitrage? Never. Mm. Like a rough tenant. Whatever this is. Four quid, keep it. A nice set of old owl books for 40 quid. Just put that book up and sold on that book, 15 quid. Fuck, you about 40 quid. That's nice though. Obviously, you wouldn't buy it though. Bush. I'm gonna leave this. Is it stupid for four quid leaving it down? But I can't seem to find what it is, like the name of it. Yes, yeah, so we picked a muffin. So I need to start doing a bit more. There's nothing there, just leave it. I've got to look at home bargains because I think I might be able to get some bargains. There's only ever been six sold of these for £12.50. Free postage, it's £2.99 in the shop. So no good for me. I will be taking all these though, 100%. There's these Pokemon things, £8.99. Sold to £9.99. £2.99. Sold only once, £9.99. Three to and that shit is bollocks. Wasn't all a waste of time. Right, so I'm sat in the van, parked up, it's raining, I'm too much to wait. And I keep getting a lot of comments on my previous video saying £10 entry is crazy. Listen, Toxie isn't £10 entry. You pay a £10 note or a fuck whatever note, just pay, you gotta pay them 10 quid. When you get in, a half 10. And then if you're out within an hour, you get a fiver back. If you're not, you keep your 10 quid, obviously. Cheers. Come on, you fuckface. Sorry about that, mate. Didn't realise you were sat there. So I've just been seeing my brothers talk about our holiday because we're going literally in like 40 days or whatever. And he gave me this. He said, you give me this ages ago, it's for a DS. But we don't want it anymore. It's literally brand new. So if anyone wants this, let me know. Also, he said, do you want a scar to go on the necklace? I said, yes, I do, son. So I've got a little necklace, put a little scar on it. Happy days. Off home now. 
chill out for a bit and then get them whatnot orders wrapped and what else I need to do? Oh, the mystery boxes in the back, we need to open them as well. Right, let's go. Get these boxes open. Ready? Okay, yeah, yeah, I'm trying my best. Can I help? Put this one down here, then no one can help me. First one. We know it's going to be a bag of shit, but I'm going for it anyway. So, first one, we've got a birthday card. Yeah, straight in the bin. Then we got a container with some. Container with some cards, I think I've got too far away. Come on, get closer. Right. Container with some cards in. That's gonna go straight in the bin. I got a nice £1.50 Lancaster Paris bag goes straight in the bin. Hey, we got an Eagle Piggle. Vinted, two quid, that's money back. We got a bag. I don't know what kind of bag that is, but some kind of bag. MS Foods apron. Don't know what that is. I was right, it was definitely that's broken, so that glass is broke. Avon. Full set of Avon makeup stuff. Don't have a clue. 50 cards for graduation. Thing. I think it says gratitude. Is that what it says? Star Wars book. All that Star Wars Lego. Pencil case. Things to get stuff out of the oven. Or something that's out of the way. An eye curler. Oh, okay. You want it, yeah? Oh. One, two, three things that are going in the bin. A glass mirror. That's a candle holder. What is? Look. This is? Yeah, it's got candles on it. This is mirror? Yeah. Okay. Glass holder. Case for some glasses that no one has. HP glass of eyes. Is that broke? Yeah, it's definitely broken. You just play my cards up there, yeah. Glass. Sort of bag with makeup inside and a pair of earrings. No good to nobody. All this stuff is just a Another thing a pen or something, makeup pen, a spoon, and some tissues because I'm going to cry and use them in a minute. Not bad for a quid though. I'm a chef now. It's definitely for a kid. Little bit, rip it in half. up for a dumpster dive. Come to my house, number two. The box I can use for whatnot stuff anyway, so it's all good. Right, you ready? On to the second one. Straight down the middle there. This one feels like the box is overflown or it's wet. Oh, that's stuff for a quid though. Way best mystery boxes ever. Whatever's in here seems like it's smashed. Though. Right, we've, I think we've done all right here so far because this box, if these are complete, they're not complete. Right, there's a busy book there, not complete. Unless they're falling out in the box. Let me just have 12 characters, there's four in there. Darth Vader mask. So we'll do the rest of this video. There's Darth Vader. Spider-Man 2, Nanny McQueen, Night the Museum, Ice Age 2, all on DVD. Don't hurt your face too much. Hey, we've also got a Stormtrooper dude. Bargain. What is that thing? Don't know what that is. Some sort of like little dog bowl thing. A lampshade. Anyone want some lampshades? No? No one wants a lampshade? Couple of glasses. All right, then what's wrong with that? Yeah, glass, glass plate thing. You know what I meant? Love makes a house a home. Oh, Blake. 
Yeah, it's ugly to you, but it might have some value to sell it. What, 50p at a garden? Yeah, it's not a vintage marble for 25 quid. I'm joking. A bowl of ice cream. A book or some magazines, some whatever. A little bunny. Just about to do it with it. Looks like a good book, that. A little man like that. Zookeeper in my life as well. This is crap. Mm -hmm. This one's just full, this one's just full of books. This is a pop-up book. Mm -hmm. Another book. Mm -hmm. Another book. Mm -hmm. Cinderella Princess book. Mm -hmm. Storybook collection. Mm -hmm. With all yeah. Disney figures. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Found this old car. Don't know if that's worth any money. Probably not. What's that a teddy bear? Crap. And another ice cream glass. But we've got a box. So, got a load of crap. Definitely worth, a lot of things in there worth more than two quid, so happy with that. What about this sausage stuff? Get okay, here. Put on it. Bring this sausage down here. So we also found this thing. Right, out of them busy books, right? These, fair enough. But these two, actually, Jack's officially, if you can see it. They're not from the busy book, they're actually figures. Worth about three or four quid each. Obviously, it's no good to me, but you know what I mean. Bargain. So I'm going to list them on whatnot as a bag of random cake toppers. Why couldn't the weather be like this earlier? This morning. Not a cloud in the sky, look. But yeah, guys, that's going to be me. Thank you for watching. I uh, don't know what the plan is tomorrow. But we'll see. Probably hit some chances or something. I don't know. I've got loads to do. I've got them whatnot orders still to come out. It's like half four. Get them out today. So hopefully they'll arrive by Monday or Tuesday. So if you bought from me, just bear with me. I know none of you care. I'll send them when I send them. But like and subscribe, yeah? And I'll see you next time. Peace.